Hi, in today's video I'm going to talk about dimensioning in ARCHICAD. Uh, you have two options for dimensioning in ARCHICAD. One is the automatic option where ARCHICAD does the dimensioning for you. I find that that um, is a good option when you're in a rush. So uh, some errors creep up when you use that, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about later. And after that I'm going to show you how you can manually dimension in ARCHICAD. So let's start with the automatic dimensioning. Uh, what you want to do is select your wall tool and select all of the walls, so Control a uh, Once you have all of your walls selected, you're going to go to Document, Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning, Exterior Dimensioning. I'm going to show you first, first for exterior and then for interior. So let's do exterior first. Uh, and you're going to have to look uh, here on the um, options, make sure the options that you want to have are selected and also make sure that the place dimensions on four sides is selected and that's pretty much it. Click OK and once you did that you're gonna click on one of your walls on the edge and then you're gonna do a second click on the outside of your building where you want your first dim dimension to be placed. And as you can see, all of the dimensions are placed. The settings of them are the ones that you have on your dimension tool when you are doing this. If you want to change them, let's say you want to make the text bigger, either you change it before or you can change it now by selecting all of them and just doing the text bigger. Okay, so what I was talking about with the errors, I mean uh, if there are errors in your model they will show up in this option and also um, some dimensions that I normally I wouldn't put are here so let's say this is a dimension for that wall so this little point here is dimensioning of, is the dimensioning of that wall over there which I normally wouldn't put on the outside of the building I would only dimension this on the inside and other things like that column, I don't think I would have put it here. Uh, it, you know, it's stuff like that that you have to really look over and make sure that the, that the dimensions are correct. So uh, this is the automatic option for exterior walls. Let's see what that does with interior walls. What you're gonna do again is select all of your walls, go to document, document extras, automatic dimensioning, interior dimensioning. You're going to click OK and then drag the line where you want your dimensions to be. So from there to there and then once again where you want your dimension to be placed. And this generates one, one dimension line between the walls that you created. This I don't find that it improves my speed too much. I'd rather just do the dimensions myself. It's really easy. If you Once you have one created, just control click. You can just dimension everything you want. Okay, so this, this leads me to my next point, how to modify dimensions that you've already made. If you want to add a dimension, what you're gonna, if you want to drag a copy, just control shift and D, drag a copy, and then to insert new points, you just hold down the control key, and this is how you insert, now I'm dimensioning just randomly everything to show you the principle. <laughs> this is how you add points to your dimension. If something is a little bit in error, you can correct it by selecting the text. Uh, you, can, you can either correct it by uh, modifying something, so you see ARCHICAD automatically modifies the dimension if you modify a wall so if you or if you modify anything else that you dimensioned so either that way you can correct errors or you can just select the text and here under measured value you select custom text and you input here a value that you want so let's say 130 instead of 127.5 if you added too many points you can just select one that you don't want and delete it and the dimension automatically accumulates between the dimensions that you deleted. 
Okay, you can also move the text around if something is in the way. Let's say two of them overlap or something, you can always move it by just options. Move, drag or control shift, uh, control D. Okay. Uh, so let's delete all of we have so all, all that we have so far and I'm going to show you how you can manually dimension your building. So you're going to click on the extremities of your building and you're going to if you use this geometry method only any direction, you're going to have to click on a vertical line and then drag it outside. If you don't want to do that, you can just select this other option and this only allows you to, dim to put place your dimension either vertically or horizontally. You just have to drag it out and then place it where you want it. Uh, this other option is used more when you also have uh, walls that are at an angle. Okay, so let's say you want to have three exterior dimensions. I'm going to drag another one, copy. So Control Shift and D. Then I'm going to start adding dimensions. So here I'm going to want to add a dimension to show the general dimensions of the building. So from here to here and from here to here. And on my last dimension, I'm going to also insert the windows. So Control Click, Control Click on every point that I want to have dimensioned. And you can go through this process on all four sides of your building and that's how you do the dimensions. Okay, so a question that I get asked sometimes is how do you copy and paste dimensions on different levels? So let's say you have an office building and uh, a lot of the dimension from one level are the same with the dimension from the next level. In order to copy it, you have to explode it. So you select it, and then you hit Ctrl and plus. I'm going to make sure this is selected, so keep original elements after exploding, which means I'm going to have a dimension line, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to select my line tool. And this is the dimension that we exploded. So this is no longer a dimension element. It is made out of lines and text and arches and stuff like that. And if you, this, you can copy on different levels. The dimension element, you can't copy on different levels. So once you hit copy, you can either delete this or not. You can go on the next level and just paste it and you have it. The downside to this is that you can't modify this because it is not a dimension. It is, like I said, made out of lines and texts and fills and stuff like that. So you can't really modify it. So make sure you only copy your dimensions on other levels when you are sure that they are correct. Okay, so what, I, what else I want to talk about is curved dimensions, so on curved surfaces. Let's draw it over here. Okay, let's just switch the finish on the outside. Okay, if I want to dimension this, I'm going to go to select my dimension tool and select this other option, arc length. Okay, in order to place this dimension, you have to first select the arc that you want to dimension. So I'm going to click over this inside one. As you can see, two points are generated to show the total length of the dimension. Then I'm going to click OK. If on top of that you want to dimension the windows that are on the wall, you can just place it and then Control click again. You can also add the window uh, at first, when you first place down the dimension. So just click, I'm going to do the same thing on the outside edge of the wall. I'm going to click on the outside arc and then I'm going to click on the windows on the window, I'm sorry, and then click OK and then you just have the dimensions placed there 
so here under more you have the angle dimension tool but first let's draw a wall that's at an that's at an angle so let's say like this and this if you want a dimension let's say this interior part you're gonna select your angle dimensioning tool and just click on one edge and then on the next one and then on the inside if you want to dimension the inside of the of the angle if you want to dimension the outside the same thing three clicks so one on one edge one on the other and then in the middle as you can see this did the same angle this is the same angle as this one because we didn't select this construction method outer dimension first if we select that and go through the same process so one click here one click on the next edge and one click on the outside we see the total the outer angle dimension okay so another tool that is useful is the radial dimension tool the same thing you just click on an arc and you get the radius dimension you can either place it on the outside or on the inside so two clicks one on the arc one on where you want the dimension placed two clicks one here one here okay so that is basically all for floor plan dimensions if you want to um, dimension elevations or sections let's generate a section and open it we are going to use the dimension tool and this construction method elevation the same way you can click the total elevation of your building drag it outside and if you want to add intermediary points just click on the next point that you want to have dimensioned you can change the appearance of this either to put it below so the marker object to be the direction from down downwards or upwards you can do this for the whole dimension or you can just select one and change the characteristics of one point also here you can modify the text if you have a slight error you can select it say here custom text and just input plus 5.75 okay so i think that is all i have to say right now if you can think of uh, some questions that you have that i didn't address in this video please leave them in the comments and also if you have any video requests leave them down there as well i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you next time bye